Hi, I was asked recently to describe what it is I do believe instead of merely what it is I do not believe. I do not believe in a supernatural god of any sort. What I am, however, is a existentialist, libertarian, consensualist, philosophical Taoist. And what that roughly means is, um, I'll begin with the, the Taoist. I'm a philosophical Taoist, which means that I read Chuang Tzu and Zhu excuse me, Bao <laughs> and I thought they were really cool, and I thought that the poetry and such was very inspirational to me, and what it gives to me is this deep and abiding sense of, of, of being centered, of being this person who exists in the world, and it's okay that the world exists, and it's okay that I exist in the world, and my natural drives and impulses are not evil, and they are not rotten, they're just a natural part of the person who I am. Um, I'm sorry if I'm kind of stumbling here, because this is pretty personal. I really don't really talk about this too much. Maybe I should. I'm a... And so that's, however, what I got out of Taoism, is this very... a validation of kind of the natural drives that a big person has. And I very much appreciated the, the notion, you know, that that we should be who it is that we are, rather than try to fit ourselves into someone else's belief system or box or something like that. And I've very strongly taken that from Taoism. I'm also a libertarian essentialist, which means is I don't really care what you do in the privacy of your own home. Uh, what I do care about is um, that we as people, as human beings, need to gather together, and I think that human beings who gather together to improve themselves and improve society are much more successful than people who are individually struggling against each other to do the same thing. So I'm, like, I'm not a big fan of capitalism, for instance, which is kind of predicated on the notion that we are out there fighting on our own, you know, against the system or the world, and I don't think that's true. I think that we are together part of not only the system but also the world, and that we are best served by coming together you know, to make the world a better place. I'm also an existentialist, which means that I think that human beings have the ability to make decisions that are meaningful. I'm maybe not, not a very good <laughs> existentialist. I think that kind of biologically and in other fashions, psychologically, we are limited in the number of decisions that we make. But I think that these limitations can be overcome through a variety of techniques, like psychological and technological. I think that, that technology, for instance, has given us a lot more options than we have had at any other point in history. And I think this is good that we have these options and we have the ability to express ourselves in these multifaceted ways that are hitherto denied to us. So I think that's tremendously benevolent. Tremendously benevolent. I'm also a scientific materialist, which means that I do not believe in any supernatural causes whatsoever. I think that there is a number of things that we do not understand, but I do not think that there is some sort of overall supernatural force that's in charge or guiding the universe in any capacity. Um, I pretty strongly believe that, because I think that scientific materialism has been more innately benevolent than any other idea that human beings have ever, ever come up with. I mean, every time we, we travel or we seek medical care or we go to the supermarket to buy food, we are primarily indulging in the benefits of scientific materialism. And um, a couple of other things, too, that aren't leaping to mind right now. But it isn't that I've, I've taken away God and not filled it with something else. I think that that there is nothing, nothing that religion offers that cannot be better served through some other non-religious mechanism. I mean, if you're not happy with your life, then you should go to a psychologist. If you are uncertain about death, you should read philosophers. You should not indulge in the fantasy of the Bible as guided by the religious people in order to have this full sense of security, which almost always comes with this dreadful baggage, you know, of, of needing to believe in the hierarchical structure of whatever religion is that you believe in. So I guess I'm also anti-religious, believing that religion is a, a plague upon mankind, uh, humankind, excuse me. And uh, that I would not 
blink twice if I had the capacity to eradicate in such a fashion that would not interfere with the rights or well-being of the actual religious people. I do not promote violence toward religious people or any kind of bullying or intimidation to change their mind. I think that's absurd. I think that creates a horrible cycle of violence that I completely and absolutely abjure. Uh, I want to convince religious people that there is a better way. I do not wish to force them into thinking what it is that I think, and I try to remain open to whatever nuggets of wisdom that religion has coincidentally come up with. Uh, but that's roughly speaking what I believe. Thank you very much for listening to me. My name is Chris Bradley, and I'd like you to come to my website to take a look at my stories, my essays, things of that nature, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.